Hi hey everybody, Troy from the wet do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Um, it's been raining most of the day on and off. It's very humid and hot. Uh, it's around 80 degrees and about 90, no, 70 or 80 percent humidity. You can see the humidity in the air and uh, Chris and I started fixing the gazebo um, and it started pouring rain again. We put uh, boards across the top and we were going to go across. I want to put, those are eight foot boards, I want to go across with uh, three or four more in the middle. I think four more across the length of that. And here we go again, it starts pouring again. So it, it teases you, it stops raining and then it starts pouring again. So it's a teaser. Um, not a lot of quantity all at once, but just a teaser and keeps it wet. So it keeps me not from not recording with a camera. But we fixed the gazebo and we did it in a stronger manner this time. So uh, we're going to reinforce that. I'm going to put more boards across. And then I want to come out with sides going out across over the top of the next row and then down. On, on either side and then I can drop strings down to let the peas and beans and tomatoes and whatever grow along those uh, in those areas so that'll be the frame for a whole wide array of, of uh, climbers on both sides down the middle of the garden I think it'll look pretty cool actually when it's done so in between the rainstorms, because we don't, we're working outside with our power tools. So in between the rainstorms, we're gonna try to get it done. Where's, here's Chris. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update. What's going on? We we're out today. And if it stops raining long enough, the sun is trying to show now. If it stops raining long enough, we'll show you what we got in the bed of the truck uh, and the story behind it. But right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey everybody, Melanie's got me doing home decorating. Um, I don't know if you can see the prints. She got some prints the other day. She's got me putting these up to make this look more like a home. Alright, so move that away. I got to see how high that one was, so I put it the same. Okay, just a little bit down. And on this board? Yeah. And centered, right? Oh. I'm in the middle of a support board behind there. It's not going easy. That's not going easy. There's nothing behind it to hit against. There it goes. Okay. Put your thing out there. Alright. So you're happy. Now later I'm going to fix this because I didn't do the wire right. And that will be raised. That one hanging differently it can be adjusted if it has to be. It is yeah. higher. Okay, that well, one we can yeah, adjust, the, adjust wire. the wire. Now you want the other one right here over here. What do you think? That's all up to you. You're the boss in this place here. Put the other one, please. Uh. It's on. See, that one's about the same as that one. It's a little bit higher. Yeah, they're all differently adjusted. Do you like that? Let me see from a distance. So we're fixing it up, making the house look nice. Um, it looks too close, I think. Put it on the other side, what's it look like? It's then it looks off balance, because that's empty. Uh, put it back in there again. And then we can find someone to stay. Okay, we'll do that. 
All right, well, I'm going to finish helping her get these hangings up and decorate the house. Here's a very beautiful painting I got for free long ago. I think I got it for free when I was doing house cleanouts. I love that thing. I don't know why the camera's not focusing on it right. I really love that painting. And I got another one over here that I got at the same time. I love these two. Some of my favorites. Really nice. So now we got the uh, paintings on the wall. I really like that. That is my favorite. And then this one. And then over here in the corner. And the stairwell is done. So we're starting to make it look like a house. Hey everybody. Now don't freak out. <laughs> Um, a friend of mine, we met, we were at this uh, barn sale uh, today, and actually we got some good deals on some food products. Really, really good deals, like 70% off brand new fresh food. And a friend of mine convinced me to go half with him, so I paid $10 for a truckload of two-stroke, and actually four-stroke weed eaters and engines and parts, and they said $20 a truckload, and he wanted... Um, enough material to make a working leaf blower so somewhere down in there is a couple leaf blowers so I paid ten dollars for a pickup truck full of weed eaters and leaf blowers basically and what we're gonna do is play around and see what works and what doesn't there's mix and match parts there's a whole bunch of parts in there mix and match parts and uh, there's some four cycle and some two cycle and it's all Sears Craftsman uh, I don't care about the leaf blowers so much because I have some working ones, but there's also some battery powered tools, 19 volt battery powered tools in there, uh, here and there. So um, I will play around with them one day in the future. But anyway, I will use what I want, which is only I need one or two of each, and then um, the rest we sell for parts. So. But it's not a rush right now, it's not a priority. We're going to have to just get some pallets down and put these out with uh, under a tarp for now. And then pick at them as we have time now and then. But yeah, there's some pretty clean looking machines. Um, and credit pull, unbelievable starting ease. Really clean stuff, clean carburetors. Really brand new some of these are actually very brand new some are somewhat used and some are brand new looking so anyway we can make some money out of that like i said my friend wanted a leaf blower so hopefully he can get one going out of all the materials in there but i wanted to show you where we were today and what all we got that is the mother load of machines right there Oh, by the way, for anybody who freaks out and says, ah, garbage, garbage, hoarder, hoarder, and complains and all that, I could take this right to the scrapyard and probably get more than that money back. So um, that's a win-win situation here. Either way, uh, this is what I do. I deal in small engines on the side. It is my partial business on the side. This is what I do. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. Because uh, I happen to make quite a bit of money on the side, and I don't tell you much about it. Uh, some people saw a mini bike in a video by Trucker Buck. I didn't talk about it because I knew, which did happen, that people would get mad and complain. Well, that's my business. I sold some stuff and got some stuff. So uh, that's my business on the side. When I uh, deal and trade and barter for things that I like and sell things or trade off things that I don't want. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to be working on some rototillers in the next few days here and try to get something going for some extra cash. So, yeah, that's what I do. Don't know if anybody sees the difference, but it's clearing up out here. Uh, I'm going to get out the power drill, and, or the Ryobi um, imp impact driver, and remove all the screws from these pieces of metal, uh, separating the metal from the uh, pallets and that pile will be gone and then move these couple pieces of wood that um, Chris couldn't move and then I got a couple pallets over here we'll pick up and then we can start moving trees and this is going to be all cleared out over here very soon now 
First garden harvest of the year. Melanie, what do you got? A fine bouquet. This is the first food from our garden. Look, it's really healthy. Oh yes it is. These are edible and they are awesome. I love my greens like this. Here, let me see that bouquet you got. Look at that. That's mm -hmm. going to be, how, how, what are we doing with these tonight? Uh, garlic and onion. Nice. That's good. So our tomatoes are looking good and getting ready to be staked. The ha we have some cherry tomatoes that are um, fully sized and it's not been growing anymore. It looks like it's going to be turning red soon. Got a few cherries out there and we got a lot of flowers forming on these tomato plants. So they're going to be starting to bush out. Look at that bouquet. Nice. That's dinner tonight. Um, we got a nice weed garden here, beautiful weed bed. The chickpeas are the strangest looking things I've ever seen. I, I'm curious what they're going to look like because I've never seen chickpeas. I want to plant some more. And uh, then over here somebody told me these were radishes that are randomly growing up in the um, potato beds. Now uh, potatoes are looking good. They're sprouting up so we're going to start healing. Boy, I'll tell you what, that was... I can't believe how many how many plants come up from one um, sprout because we cut the potatoes in, in half. Each potato we cut into half and there's a lot of growth coming up from one potato. So good stuff. And then these tomatoes are a little bit slower than the others. I don't know if you can see them there. Well, anyway, brief intermission. I've got to get rolling. Um, huh? That's a lot, Melanie. Um, over here we've got peas and beans coming up. I did plant uh, intensively, thickly. And then we've got a few melons and, and squash plants coming. Half of them haven't come up yet. They're slow and peeking through. And then we've got the uh, beans here. So I'm going to do another planting soon. There's a cucumber coming up. The cucumbers are going to climb the trellises. Right here is a cucumber. Yep. One. There's a few more, they're all planted, in, and then the Asian um, pumpkins are over here. I can't wait for them to grow, if they do. So, Whoa. I hope so. Alright, back to work. Hey everybody, we take you on over here through the woods. We uh, cleared a path through the trees and brush. Over by the uh, engine stuff, this is where my tent used to be. All my equipment is outside. I put two pallets up and hauled over all the uh, stuff. This is a lot of equipment. And uh, like I said, my friend wants to have a good working leaf blower. And then the rest is all for scrapping out for parts. Um, even in just scrap metal at the metal yard, that's a lot of money, I think. So definitely more than, than that. And that's a lot of that's aluminum if you were to take it apart. There's some electric stuff too. There's some uh, some trimmer heads that I like and some stuff I can probably use. There's a uh, there's electric hedge trimmer, there's electric chainsaws, there's three, four electric chainsaws and a gas powered chainsaw. Um, I'm interested in trying the electric chain, uh, yeah, the electric chainsaws on a solar panel directly and see if they'll run because they're 20 volt chainsaws. So that'd be cool to see if that would work directly off a solar panel. That'd be really cool. There's some electric weed, weed trimmers and edgers as well. So I'm going to experiment with some of them and see what I can get going myself out here running off solar power directly, right off a solar panel directly. So that'd be fun to play with. And then there's some very fine newer model machines here. Well, at least they look to be newer model machines, these weed eaters. And we're going to see what the parts look like online and uh, sell the carburetors and the uh, internal parts and gas tanks and everything else. Uh, handles, some of, some people break their handle grips. So uh, there's some value there, a little bit of value there. But that's not a priority, so don't, don't uh, think I'm doing this all right now. But that's a good rainy day project when our workshop is set up. I think I happen to have a Sears Craftsman. I do have a Craftsman, is that a Craftsman? 
Yeah, see, I have a Craftsman weed eater, so now I've got spare parts for such a thing. Anyway, continuing on with their work, got a lot left to do. I took everything back out of here and off the ground and Chris swept and shoveled for me. So it's all clean and now I'm going to put the pallets back in and put the stuff back in here neatly. So this tent will be cleaned out and ready for use again. Look at this everyone. Look at that free clear space. Beautiful. Okay, we got to take these trees down and we can run that motor home in here soon. We'll have to move the baby chickens which are right here at night. That's their night coop. Surrounded by a heavy duty electric fence. And that wire wheel is where we set their their uh, transporting coop at night so we can transfer the birds into the uh, chicken coop. And then there's a dog house which actually we can move that now in by the birds. But look at that. Chris has been raking up leaf piles, so there's a massive leaf pile, which is going to be later taken over to the garden and run through the mulching machine. Done with that. The garden tractors are under the tarps, and the wagons are lined up next to that. Uh, I didn't get to, to the scrap metal pile right here yet, but we'll do that, and that'll be it. The leaf pile and the scrap metal pile, that's it. Then we move the chickens and the trees, and uh, the motorhome comes in. Chris, we were just talking about that. We did not think this would be done in another two weeks, but I think we're getting closer. Yeah, we're getting I closer. think we're on schedule. We wanted to do this within a week, and I think all we got to do now is move a couple items out here and trim some trees, and we're done. All this will be gone right here. This whole area will be free and open and clear. It's going to look so good with this gone. Nice. It's going to be so good. We have to cut the trees before we can move the chicken coop because the electric fence is solar powered. So that's one thing, but wow, it's going to look good. We're really getting it. All right, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Talk to you all later. Good evening, everybody. Work is done. The chickens are in bed. I don't. Yeah, you can see the fireflies blinking, can't you? Look at that. The fireflies are out tonight. Pretty little things. Flashing in the night. So, uh, Melanie's never seen fireflies, by the way. She's sort of afraid of the dark, so she's never come out here to see them after dark. Well, she's not afraid of the dark, she's afraid of what's in the dark. But, I had to get her out here one evening and see these things. So, I'm gonna go turn on the electric fence. And uh, call it a night while well, the birds are in. Turn on the fence. And that's it. Good night, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Oh, can't focus. Oh, well. Good night. Hi, Melanie. Hi. Melanie has a package. <laughs> Should I offer now? No. Let us stare at it for a while, Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a scissor or a knife? Uh, There's a zip pull on it. Do you need help? No. No thanks. <laughs> this is addressed to Melanie Reed. From our friend Brian, by the way. I can't believe I had a gift. Hmm. What do we have? Unlikely loves. 43 heartwarming true stories from the animal kingdom. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dog. Because my dog is not here. Well, thank you, Brian. Melanie? Thank you, Brian. All right, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to give this.
Well, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll talk to you all later. This is truly the end. Good night. Good night.